Resolution. Is adopted. And a resolution honoring the Community Life Improvement Program on the occasion of their 15th anniversary, introduced by Councilman Heenan. Um, Chair recognizes Councilman O'Neill. Yes, Mr. President, thank you. I'd like to uh, just comment uh, on the Community Life Improvement Program. Yes, sir. Um, usually referred to as CLIP. Uh, back at the beginning of um, Mayor Street's first uh, administration, first term, uh, he announced NTI, Neighborhood Transformation Initiative. It was almost a $500 million uh, bond issue. And um, my late colleague, uh, Joan Krajewski, and I uh, met with the mayor and um, said, Mayor, we don't have any skin in this game pretty much uh, in our district, but we'd love to support it, but can you come up with something? Um, he not only came up with something, uh, he designed a program with a lot of research and thought into it uh, that he had presented on several occasions, showing that in some of our worst areas, if in the 1940s, when those areas looked like our district looked in, in, uh, in that uh, time period, early part of this uh, century, that um, they may not look so bad if we had clip hitting, hitting early and, and uh, uh, stopping it. So he came up with this whole program from start to finish. I don't think he's ever really been given credit for it. Joan came up with CLIP. She came up with the, I think she had the anacronym first and then figured out what to, uh, uh, what to call it. But uh, not only did Mayor Street come up with this very essential program that has been unbelievably successful, but he came out at the beginning. He wanted to know what houses we could identify that if something wasn't done and done fast, they would become the beginning of the domino effect on their block and in their neighborhood. That people would not be able to sell a house with that house on the block. They would become rentals instead of homeownership um, uh, houses and also possibly vacant homes. We had caravans go into neighborhoods with every top level city official and every department, including the law department. And it looks like a presidential motorcade coming, coming in. The cars were a little smaller and things, but uh, Mayor Street got out. And these were not areas where he did particularly well in that, in that election. I'll tell you, he did, he did much better the next time. Um, and he was able, through the force of his office, to change those blocks. And there were several of them in both Jones area, uh, the 6th District, and mine. And those blocks have never gone sour again. Um, and CLIP, the program that he invented, uh, has been able to keep things in check before they get to that point. So I just want to um, uh, mention him, thank him on behalf of the residents of the 10th District, uh, but I'm sure on behalf of anybody who's had a, who's had a call in the clip and gotten the uh, uh, success, it happen so happens that uh, Tom Conway uh, was chosen by Mayor Street after he had been chosen by Mayor Rendell to stop graffiti, which he was able to do, and is just an incredible um, person and, and supervisor of that, of that uh, clip program. But it's been institutionalized to the point where if someone knows a clip is coming out, they start moving in a different direction. They cut their grass, they, they do whatever it is that they've been cited for because the fact is it's going to cost them a lot more uh, if they don't. And, um, uh, and uh, thank Joni for uh, coming up with an uh, easy to remember and um, um, very descriptive uh, uh, set of uh, initials in the acronym. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Councilman.